Minnesota Fighting Vikings superstar wide receiver Justin Friggin Jefferson deserves some respect. And the national media jabroni haircuts naturally hate the Minnesota Fighting Vikings. Uh, they're uh, predisposed to it, it's whatever. But Jefferson is so good that even they have to admit that JJ is a star uh, and rising and quickly is going to become one of the best wide receivers in the game, if not the best. Numero uno, enter one NFL.com analyst Adam Shine, who has in general been pretty good to the Vikings. Now, he did up a bunch of poll predictions for the 2022 season, and well, he has a couple that are just like, meh, like Derek Carr leading the league in passing yards because the Raiders will be down by 40 in every single game. Sure, maybe. Uh, he also predicted that Rodgers will be allegedly three-time MVP, even though he's not my MVP. Whatever, whatever. But he got this one right uh, with Justin Franklin Jefferson, predicting uh, that he will rank in the top three in terms of receptions, yards, and touchdowns. So Jefferson will be flirting with that aforementioned uh, triple crown for receiving. Uh, this is what he wrote. I think Kirk Cousins will enjoy the best year of his career. Woo! Under new head coach, play caller Kevin O'Connell. Woo! Woo! Uh, consequently, I see Jefferson piling up around 120 catches, uh, 1,600 yards, and 14 touchdowns. Honestly, those numbers aren't even that bold. Shoot, in his first two NFL seasons, he averaged 98, blah, 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 blah. And that was with Mike Zimmer as his head coach, you know, the guy who's obsessed with running the ball more. Uh, those days are over, and Jefferson's time is now. I, I agree with every single syllable uh, of those paragraphs. Because uh, now, what's amazing about Jefferson is that he did all of this. He did all of this uh, and is the only receiver in NFL history to have 3K yards uh, through his first two seasons with a run first uh, guy at head coach. Run, run, pass, punt. Run, run, pass, punt. And he had the Kubi in charge of the offense. So that thing's dated. So, yes, Justin Frigg Jefferson getting after it. And, you know, like he said, you know, 120, 1614 isn't that bold because last year Jefferson had 108, 16, 16, and 10. So you're ticking up a little bit in receptions, actually going down a little bit in yards, and a little bit uh, ticking up in touchdowns. And yes, Cooper Cup, respect. Uh, he didn't even mention that the Triple Crown winner last year for receiving a Cooper Cup was in the offense with dun, 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 Kevin O'Connell as OC, as well as Wes Phillips uh, involved in the offense as well. So now uh, they uh, are with the Vikings as head coach and OC respectively. So yum, yum time. And 120 would have been third in the league last year uh, behind Cooper Cup and allegedly Devontae Adams. 1,600 yards would have been third behind Co uh, Cooper Cup and Jefferson. And 14 touchdowns would have been tied for second behind Cooper Cup uh, and um, tied with Mike Evans, who isn't on this graphic right now. So whatever there. But either way, uh, Jefferson would be in contention for the Triple Crown. And I think those numbers are conservative because, again, you have the O.C., and you have Wes Phillips, uh, who's now the Vikings OC, who were involved in the offense last year, that force-fed Cooper Cup all those touches. Teams knew that Cup was going to get the rock, and they couldn't stop him. They, they could not stop him. Now, uh, enter Justin Franklin Jefferson, who, for my money, uh, is a better athlete and is going to be a better receiver than Cooper Cup, uh, but just starting out his career. Cup, respect, is that veteran who's still getting the damn thing done. And now Jefferson, I mean, give Jefferson 145 targets. Uh, or give Jefferson 170 targets, whatever Cooper Cup had last year. Let, let's see what happens. You know, what happens? I, I think that Jefferson, uh, especially since the Vikings offense is going to be clicking on all cylinders, it, it, even though he's going to be getting cornerback one attention, same thing with Cooper Cup uh, last year. Jefferson, he could easily go for a buck 30. He could easily go for 1,800. He could easily go uh, for 15, 16 touchdowns. So I think that he is going to be uh, in contention for uh, that fabled trip of crown. So he just love it. You just love it. it gets you excited because Vikings are finally away from the Zimmer offense. They can modernize things. They can open things up. That's one of the big reasons why Kevin O'Connell got that job. Uh, he is in that mold uh, of the young, offensive-minded Wunderkind, uh, which is very hot right now around the league in terms of head coaches. And it, it, you're taking him from the Super Bowl champions. You're taking him from uh, the offense where Cooper Cup just won that triple crown. They get things done. Now, uh, again, I, I agree with Shine on that one. Also, Adam Shine predicted that the Bears will have the worst record in the league all right so two two out of nine ain't bad there you go man but uh your thoughts are thoughts uh, nfl.com analyst adam shine predicts that jefferson will threaten uh the triple crown this year let us know your thoughts and our thoughts and his thoughts and everyone's thoughts in the comment section below subscribe for daily vikings takes once worth the work put a little something in the vedmo but to next time skull production value